Hi, I'm Marcus from Marcus Language Academy. And today let's talk a little bit more about German grammar, which is also part of my German course for beginners, where you learn German with colors and a kind of story. So today I like to talk about the future tense in German. So let's get started. In my course, I use a special color for the future tense, and this is this pink color. So uh, we have a pink future. So this is my color in my course. And therefore, in every image I use, the background color will be pink. Okay, so let's see how the future tense works. Let's take a normal verb, let's say lernen, to learn, and we need to put this verb in future tense in auxiliary. And this auxiliary verb in German is werden. No? Something similar to English, like when we have will. No? And uh, we need now to conjugate actually this verb. So let's see. Important thing is werden, sadly, is also an irregular verb. So there will be something irregular that means uh, that it changes the root of the verb. So let's see the first person. So first person is regular, ich werde. And then we add just the infinitive of the verb, like in English, no? Ich werde lernen, I will learn. And let's see an example here. Ich werde Deutsch lernen, I will German learn. Always remember when we have two verbs, the second verb goes all the way to the end in the main sentence. So here, ich werde Deutsch lernen. Now you see the background color is pink, so it remembers us that this sentence is in future tense. The subject is green, ich, and uh, Deutsch is the accusative, it's the direct object. Okay, so let's see the second person. The second person is du wirst lernen. Here it's irregular, so there's a change So in the root. So we have wirst instead of the e, we have an i. No? And du wirst Deutsch lernen, and in the image the red dot remembers us, it's something irregular here. No? Du wirst, no? du wirst lernen. Third person, er, es, sie, wird. Okay, actually there is no ending anymore, no? And we have also the I instead of the E. Er wird Deutsch lernen, so he will German learn, literally. And the plural? Okay, what do you think? So let's see. Wir werden lernen. Okay. No surprises here. No, it's irregular. Uh, it's regular. And we add en like always. And we have the sentence here. Wir werden Deutsch lernen. We will German learn. Third person. It's a little bit tricky because ihr werdet lernen. Because we add an e here because the D at the end of the root no, doesn't allow that we put directly the T. So we separate the D from the T with an E. Okay, so therefore it's ihr werdet lernen. Ihr werdet Deutsch lernen. And in third person plural we have sie werden lernen. No, they will German learn. Sie werden Deutsch lernen. Okay, so it's still regular, no, like the first person in plural. So quite easy because you can apply this to every verb we have. Okay, remember the second verb is infinitive and at the end, and we need to know just the conjugation of the verb werden. No. Um, one thing I always see with my students that they mix up two verbs. They mix up werden with the verb wollen. Because for example, wollen in first person is ich will, and people think ah that's the I will, no, the future. No, that means I want. So here, please don't do the same mistake to use wollen for the future tense. It's werden. The auxiliary is werden. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much for watching my video. And remember, every time, grammar is optional. No, and you should focus on uh, using the language. Okay. I see you soon in my next video. And I wish you a great day.